Welcome back, welcome back, welcome back. It's still the breakfast of Plus TV Africa. And of course, we are set for our second uh, conversation. This time, the focus is on the impending removal of fuel subsidy. Remember the fuel subsidy protests and the Occupy Nigeria protests some years ago. Uh, well, maybe those protests were only postponing the evil day because um, that day is just around uh, the corner. It's not even about when uh, if fuel subsidy will be abolished in Nigeria, but actually when. And the federal government already making sticking steps to cushion the effect of that uh, uh, fuel subsidy removal. Uh, the focus stays on the increase in salaries uh, of workers, government workers, and of course, barring any last-minute change uh, of plans, the federal government of Nigeria will begin uh, payment of planned increase in civil servants' pay by the end um, of April 2023. Um, Nigerian President Muhammad Buhari, who is currently um, in Saudi Arabia, is expected to give his final assent uh, for this disbursement of this money any moment from now. now. If the proposal sails through, uh, it means the increase will be coming about two months to the June date proposed for the removal of subsidy. Uh, officials of the federal government are quoted uh, as saying that the fresh pay increase, which is tagged consequential allowance, will lead to a 40% rise in the current pay of government workers in Nigeria. Uh, that's federal government workers. Uh, Nigeria's headline inflation increased to 22.04% year on year in March, uh, the highest rate since September 2005. According to the National Bureau of Statistics, uh, the latest rise in inflation is the third consecutive increase uh, this year, increasing by 0 0.13 uh, basis points, uh, percentage points when compared to February 2023 headline inflation uh, rate. I'm glad to say joining us to discuss this all-important subject uh, is Mohamed Abdullah, who is a public affairs analyst. He joins us via Zoom from Lagos. Uh, Mohamed, good morning to you. Thank you very much for your time. Uh, good, good morning. Uh, good morning, Nigerians. All right. First of all, uh, we're counting down to June. Like I said in my introduction, uh, you can only postpone the evil day. Um, that day, which was seen as an evil day, may not be seen as an evil day these days. As Nigerians, uh, a lot of, a lot of um, analysts like yourself uh, agree that the subsidy has to go. Um, are you looking forward to that? Are you of the same view that this is the way for the country or the path the country should toe? Yes. Um I think it's inevitable. Um, so many regime, I mean, since uh, 1999, I mean, well, it will from uh, military regimes. We had a series of um, figures given out, uh, you know, being issued as uh, subsidies. So uh, it's, 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 if, if you look at those figures from 1999 to date, it's, it's humongous. In fact, it's something <laughs> that is unimaginable that is being paid as a, a subsidy um, uh, for, for, for petroleum, petroleum product. So I think it's, it's high time. It, it's going to be very biting. And I'm sure, particularly for those who voted um, the incoming government, uh, they, they might not, it's not something that would be palatable. And probably they might begin to hold the, the, the incoming government uh, responsible, you know, it will be like, like a, a, a month, it will be like a month uh, introduction by the new, by the incoming government, which has been planned, like you mentioned, actually. Uh, but, but like I said, it's not going to be palatable, it's going to be a bit tough, uh, because um, we all know Nigerians, even though we, very many of us do not understand or do not even like the subsidy thing, but uh, we've benefited to some extent uh, because if we want to be very factual, like what government keeps saying, uh, in Nigeria, Nigeria is where we, you know, compared to so many African countries around us, even those who have uh, uh, crude oil, we still buy fuel at the cheapest rate uh, for a very long time. So it's going to be very biting. It's not going to be palatable. Uh, it's going to present a whole lot of economic hardship. But... Um, 
I want to believe what the government is planning for short and long time will be able to caution the the, the effect of the hardship that will be uh, that will be put upon Nigerians when the uh, first subsidy is finally removed in June, hopefully. Oh. Um, some some experts have argued that the Nigerian inflation uh, is higher. Uh, there is at a higher rate than what the National Bureau of Statistics is. Um, is, is putting out. And in fact, the World Bank has also come out to say that um, the Nigerian authorities need to change the methodology of calculating inflation. They need to update it. And when they do that, they will get the real inflation, which is way higher than what we look, we, 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 what was contained in the latest MBS data that was released. Inflation is a big issue. Uh, elementary economics that I learned from my economics teacher in secondary school, Mr. Blege, you know, tells us that um, when there's too much money in the system, um, that inflation will increase. When people have, there's too much money, you know, the supply of money increases. Are we seeing conflicting, let me say, lack of, of focus and direction by this administration in terms of its um, um, fiscal policies, you know, and even monetary policies, its economic and financial policies? Are we seeing a, a mister, mis, misdirection, lack of, so we can't even, can we tell what exactly they want to achieve? In other words, will this current move to bring in a 40% increase in workers' salary, will it not, you know, go against what they've been trying to achieve with all we went through in recent months of trying to bring down inflation by making the Naira scarce, trying to um, strengthen the Naira, which already is still struggling, by the way? Yes, it's, um, it's a very difficult question. I am, uh, I am not an economist, but uh, to the best of my ability, I will, I, will, I will say what I actually understand. I do not think, it's my opinion, please, I do not think we have too much money in circulation at the moment. I mean, in Nigeria, uh, they are not too much, too much money in people's hands because, like you already mentioned, we have a series of um, challenges um, in terms of even the, the, the scarcity of, uh, of, of funds and so on. And as well, you know, workers are not, whether in the private or public sector, workers are not like properly compensated, you know, compared to uh, their effort and labor, uh, which means, you know, for what they take home, it's um is is actually meager uh, compared to you know the economic situation and the economic situation in the country. You know, for everything that you buy, probably in fact, when you when, when you buy anything today, you go back to the market tomorrow or the day after tomorrow, it has doubled the price or at least a quarter of the price is added. So I I do not see uh, humbly. This is my opinion as well uh, as a layman. I do not see uh, any harm, in fact, in, in the government trying to like uh, increase um, the salaries of, uh, of workers. Perhaps, probably, even the private sector should, should take cue. Uh, you, might be, you might argue that, yes, that might increase uh, the rate of inflation. But again, we also need to understand that even at the moment, workers are finding it very, very difficult to you know, to, 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 to balance, uh, to have a purchasing power with what they earn. So it's, it, it doesn't, it, it, it doesn't, um, uh, it, 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 it makes sense that, uh, yes, there, there, there should be an increase in salaries uh, in order to match, I mean, uh, the economic situation uh, in the country. Because like I mentioned earlier, Everything uh, that you can think of uh, in terms of survival, rent, accommodation, transportation, food, and so on and so forth, uh, have gone up, you know, haywire, skyrocketed. So the government listens to workers and then at this moment uh, uh, increase workers' salary in spite of the fact that, yes, that might also trigger... Uh, uh, inflation, but mind you, what I feel also, uh, this is my opinion also. What I feel is, you know, sometimes this 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 inflation that we talk about is actually man-made. It's not it's not the forces of the demand and supply per se. 
It's just a general problem, particularly, for instance, in Nigeria. When government makes the announcement, for instance, that there is workers, there is increase in salary, you know, it's just normal that for people who sell, you know, they think, oh, yeah, you are getting more money. We need to increase what, the price of what we sell. So it's actually not a direct correlation of demand and supply. It's just people's greed, if I may use that word. Seriously, you know, it's, it's, it's just people's greed uh, in terms of, uh, you know, say, okay, workers are getting more salary, then definitely I will, let me increase uh, my, my price so that I can also get more. So it's not even, a, 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 sometimes or most times, it's not a correlation of, uh, yeah, worker are trying, workers are trying to buy more. I, 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 this is my belief anyway. So I think probably we needed to do uh, as a country to checkmate that. All right. Um, the um, Bureau of Public Sector Reforms uh, last year put the number of um, public servants at the federal level at 720,000. Uh, Thanks to the IPPIS, which is making it easy to see some of these things. Um, so we're looking at 720,000 federal workers who will have to see a 40% increase in how much to get every month. You add that amount, multiply it by 12, you know how much a federal government will spend in a, a calendar year to pay these workers. That will be added to the budget. Now, yesterday the World Bank revealed that Nigeria spent 96.3% of its revenue, all the money it made, in servicing its debt in the year 2022. With what we've seen going around the country, it might be higher, if not the same, uh, in 2023. Where will the government get the money to pay uh, this 40% increase um, in workers' salary at the federal level? That's a very tough question for me to answer, seriously. I think uh, President Buhari should be... <laughs> should be you, 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 your question. statement says it all. <laughs> uh, uh, <it's laughs> you know, uh, but uh, I, I, I think if I want to guess... Uh, uh, for, for government, uh, let me, it should be just like a guesswork now, because seriously, I can't answer this question properly. But to the best of my knowledge, I think government have been borrowing in the past years. Probably that is uh, another angle, what, we are, what the government is also looking at. Because I know, like you already mentioned, what our government is making in terms of revenue might be a bit difficult and challenging to pay 40% salaries, like you mentioned, increase. And then... Um, you know, still make do with uh, providing infrastructure and so on and so forth. Uh, so perhaps uh, government might be looking towards borrowing or partnership, as it may be, uh, for them to be able to achieve that target. Uh, so, but but this question should be should should best be answered by uh, people in government, but particularly the president or the minister of uh, finance. Um, do you would you, would you like to see the private sector? to the same line of increasing salaries by at least 40%, private sector in Nigeria? Uh, yes, it's, it's, it's like I mentioned earlier, uh, everything has skyrocketed in terms of pricing, uh, uh, you know, transportation, in fact, because of the fuel crisis. And you know, like I mentioned earlier again, you know, some of our challenges are so man-made. It, it, it defies all kinds of economic theories, seriously. Because, for instance, I know in, 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 in Lagos where I live and in other parts of Nigeria where I visit as well, you know, once price increase is made, it's so difficult. It's so, so difficult for it to be, uh, to be reduced. For instance, in terms of transportation, around Lagos uh, mainland, I know there are some places you could act actually take buses to for probably 50 naira, 100 naira. But since the fuel uh, scarcity some two, three months ago, uh, and which has eased now for the past one month, those places that you could take buses to for 50, 100 naira has refused, you know, the, the transporters have refused to, to go back to the status quo. Right. You know, they, they, they well, remain like the 200 naira or so that they increase it to. In fact, even though the pricing of the of, of, of fuel have significant, significantly gone back to what they used to buy. So like I said, you know, so many of our challenges defies economic theories and and and, uh, and, and what have not. So it's, uh, it's, it's challenging. But again, in this kind of situation, you also want the private sector, because people, majority of Nigerians, in fact, majority of Nigerians are working in the private sector, uh, are self-employed and so on and so forth. It's, it's also important that where this 
these private sectors are making humongous profit, it's also important that uh, it trickles down uh, beyond the CEOs, the board members, the managers, to those people who actually do the work. Probably so not outright 40% increase like you suggested, uh, but at least probably uh, at the end of the year where there is significant profit in such organization, what I'm suggesting or recommending is that these profits should trickle down to uh, uh, the, the, the workers. Yeah, Mohamed, we've short past our time. Uh, we, we have, to, uh, we have to quickly move on. Sorry about that. Uh, news is just about four minutes away. We have to move on. I'm sincerely sorry we, we have to move. But thank you so much for your time. And, uh, of course, we'll look forward to having you again subsequently on the program. Thank you very much. All right. All right. Fantastic. Okay. That's the size of a package uh, on The Breakfast right here on Plus TV Africa. Um, we'll be back tomorrow with more analysis and, of course, um, conversations right here on the program. Don't forget you can follow us on our social media um, platforms. We have Plus TV Africa on Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, and YouTube, where we have two accounts, Plus TV Africa and Plus TV Africa uh, Lifestyle. You can also check our website out for the latest news and analysis um, and information as well. My name is Kofi Bartels. We'll return tomorrow. Thank you very much for your time. Good morning.